Hi guys! So for this video I'll be using yarn in two different colors. The yarn is in size 4 medium and the crochet hook is in size 5.5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain 40. So now that you have chained 40, on a third chain from the hook I'll make one half double crochet. Now I'll continue making one half double crochet in each chain until we reach the end of this row. So yeah, we just continue making one half double crochet in each chain until we reach the end of this row. So this completes row one. Now for row two, I'll turn my work around. Then I will chain one. Then right there to the same chain, I'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain, one half double crochet. In the next chain, one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet in each chain throughout row two. So for row one and for row two we have 38 half double crochets. Now for row three we repeat row two. So I'll turn my work around, I'll chain one, then right there to the same half double crochet chain I'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain I'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain one half double crochet. In the next chain one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet in each chain throughout row three. So basically for row 3 we are repeating row 2. So for row 3 and 4 we repeat row 2. Basically we will just have to make one half double crochet in each of our existing half double crochet chains. So yeah, we repeat this until we have 4 rows in total. So now that we have 4 rows of half double crochets, I'll turn my work around. I'll chain 1 and now I'll decrease in the next 2 chains. So I wrap the yarn around the hook, I insert my hook through its first loop, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through. Then I insert my hook through its next chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through all four loops. And now I'll continue making one half double crochet in each chain until we reach the end of this row. And this is row five. Now that we have finished row 5, I'll turn my work around. Again, I'll chain 1, then in the next 2 chains I'll decrease. Now in the next chain I'll make 1 half double crochet. In the next chain 1 half double crochet. In the next chain 1 half double crochet. And this is row 6, so basically for row 6 we are repeating row 5. So yeah, we'll continue making one half double crochet in each chain now until we reach the end of this row. So now as we reach the end of row 6, I'll chain 1 and cut this yarn. So now counting from the right side, I'll count 9 chains. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then right there through that 9th chain, I will make, put a stitch marker. Again now from the other side, I'll count 9 chains, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, I'll put a stitch marker right there. So now I'll only be working from this stitch marker to this stitch marker. Right there where this first stitch marker is, we insert our hook right through that chain, then I will chain one, and right through that same chain I'll make one half double crochet. So I'll continue making one half double crochet in each chain until I reach the second stitch marker.
This is row seven. So now to finish off row seven, right there where this next stitch mark is, right through the chain I'll make one half double crochet. So this completes row seven. Now for row eight, I'll turn my work around. I will chain one, then right there through the same chain, I'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain, I'll make one half double crochet. In the next chain, one half double crochet. So continue making one half double crochet in each chain throughout row eight. So we repeat row eight until we have 14 rows in total. Now I'll just chain one and cut this yarn. And now for row 15, I'll use yarn in white. Then right there through the first half double crochet chain, I'll insert my hook. Then I'll insert my hook through this loop and pull through. Now I'll chain one, then through the same chain I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain one single crochet. So I'll continue making one single crochet in each chain throughout row 15. So now for row 16 I'll turn my work around. Then I'll chain one, then right there through the first single crochet chain I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain I'll make one single crochet. In the next chain one single crochet. So I'll continue making one single crochet in each chain throughout row 16. So we repeat row 16 until we have 19 rows in total. And now right there through the last chain where I made a single crochet chain I'll make a slip stitch. Then I'll chain 20. Then right there through the same chain I will make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain one and cut this yarn. This is the wrong side and this is the front. But you can tell here because the stitches right here where we switched colors they look more neat. So this is the right side and we're gonna fold this in half just like this from the right side. And now we're going to join these two sides together. The loop on top is going to remain open, of course, but the rest of the sock is going to be sewed in with a yarn needle, crochet hook, whatever works for you, but in this case I'm going to use a yarn needle. Joy.